How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> Why do you feel great? Because they gave me drugs. And hey guys, thanks for checking my video today. Today's video is a little bit harder, but it's something that because you guys are so supportive and you guys always, you know, tell me how you like to follow my journey and you guys are super supportive of me, I thought I should share this one important moment in my life because today in just like five minutes, I'm about to leave to the hospital where I am going to get surgery on my right ankle. And I thought I should tell you guys about why I'm getting this surgery and my thoughts on it. So pretty much the story starts about two years ago when I had an injury during training while I was training for the World University Games uh, that I was going to that I qualified for from um, by making it on the US collegiate team. So I went to the doctor and he ordered an MRI. Turns out two of my ligaments were torn and he pretty much told me I should have surgery. I didn't want to hear any of it because I am not a big believer in surgery. So I tried physical therapy, I tried all of these alternate ways that I could to keep competing, which is what I did all last year, and it worked really well last year. I made US collegiate team, I went to Spain and I had an awesome tournament there, and I also won a silver at a President's Cup, which was my first medal at a G2 event. So I was pretty happy. I wasn't loving the way that my training was going, but I was just making it work. Now this year, it didn't, this year was really hard, <laughs> let's say that. Um, this year I started off go, uh, skipping the US Open because I was really having a hard time training on my ankle and that was in February. So I'm like, okay, let's just, you know, train, focus on team trials, and, which I did, and I fought at team trials and collegiates. And team trials I had an awful experience with. I hadn't felt like I could train properly because and for collegiates either, I, I haven't been able to train because the problem with my ankle, because my ligaments are torn, it gets tired really easily, it causes pain, and then I have a lot of instability. So anything I do, I'm either going to be unstable and I can lead to further injury, or I just have a lot of pain. So at both uh, team trials and collegiates, pretty much I fought, and the entire time that I was fighting, I didn't even want to be standing. The only thing going through my head was, I don't want to walk, I don't want to stand, I don't want to kick, I don't feel good. And it was really hard on me. Um, at collegiates, right after I lost, I mean, you guys might not know, but I won this uh, collegiate nationals tournament and made national team for sparring every year for the past four years. So losing at my very first match this year was so disappointing. I mean, I'll show you a video clip of me right after the fight. And as you can see, I'm crying. I couldn't even, I couldn't even talk right after the tournament just because of the way that I felt. And how I felt was I was so frustrated. I was so angry. I was disappointed. I was just, I didn't know what to do because I knew that pretty much I felt like I was losing fights that I shouldn't be losing because I couldn't do it. I couldn't physically or mentally do it anymore. Like I said, I didn't even want to be standing there just because of the pain that I felt, because of the instability that I felt. So, a week after coming home from collegiates, I was pretty much just depressed, to be honest. I didn't know what to do, I didn't see a way that I could possibly get through this. And that's when I decided it's time to get surgery. I've seen about four different doctors, and I've talked to so many different people who are, you know, well experienced in this, and they all agreed, and they really think that I should get surgery. So I decided to take the big step that I haven't wanted to take that it's time to take. So, in just a few minutes, actually that's my mom calling me right now. So right now in one minute, I'm going to go to the hospital and it is time to get these two ligaments fixed up. I won't be able to walk for three weeks. After that, I'm in a boot for about three to six weeks. And then after that, I can start physical therapy. So that's what's going on. And it is now time to go to the hospital. Okay guys, we're just coming into the hospital now. And there's still time to turn around. You know, I'm not locked into this place yet. I can still change my mind. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Hi. 
They keep asking me lots of hard questions like what my name is or my birth date. And it's surprisingly really difficult. Yes, they do. They have me in these fancy clothes with a robe, fancy socks, and a cool bracelet. And we're just prepping for surgery. It still won't happen for like another hour, but we're just preparing. And I'm pretty terrified, but we're gonna get through it. So she got a femoral nerve block, and they put some, I think, some type of medication in her IV to essentially make her loo whoopy and drowsy. And she might not remember any of this. So, yeah. How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> Why do you feel great? Because they gave me drugs and it calmed me down, so I'm no longer nervous for some crazy reason. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Tell your vloggers hi. Uh, why are you poking me? <laughs> <laughs>